Hi and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam and in this video I'm going to show you how you can do collision detection using the Space Manager framework. If you have not seen the previous parts that I then I highly recommend that you do so because that sets up the basis for this uh, screencast. Let me actually run the application and show you what it does. Pull it down a little bit over here. Here we go. So you can see it's a very uh, pretty much I mean a simple app developed using Space Manager in like maybe uh, an hour. The graphics are uh, from Wiki Windelich. Uh, you can visit her website at wikivindelich.com. And uh, so now, right now, the squirrel is holding an acorn, and the cat is resting on the platform over here. And if I click over on the acorn, it flies and uh, it hits the uh, the cat. Okay, but there is no collision detection between the acorn and the cat, so we are going to add that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, if you see over here, this is just to, to set up code to set up the platform, set up the cat, set up the squirrel, and also the acorn. Uh, but it also has a code for the cat, which is right over here. The so cat is a CPCC sprite. Okay and acorn is also a cpcc sprite okay so if i want to do that if i want to make a collision detection between an acorn and uh, and the cat i have to specify the space manager that what kind of collision i am uh, hoping for okay so let's actually go ahead and do that i'm going to say it's acorn dot shape and the shape of the acorn is represented by a circle collision type equal to one and then I can say over here uh, cat dot shape and collision type we're just giving some integer values to the acorn as well as the cat okay and then we can use the space manager add collision uh, this one here we go so collision between two different bodies or two different shapes or two different collision types one will be type 1 and the other will be type 2 it's that simple and then the target will be self and uh, what will happen is this method will be triggered when the collision actually happens okay so I can say handle collision between acorn and cat just a descriptive name so that you can specify what is going on of course you can you can uh, give any name you want and these are the parameters that it's going to send okay now i'm going to implement this method which is handle collision between acorn and uh, cat and uh, let me actually copy it from the other screen there we go so i'm just going to change this handle collision between uh, acorn and cat okay and we're not doing anything inside that we're just we're saying uh, acorn hit the cat and that's pretty much it so let's copy the name over here so that we are 100 percent sure that's the same thing let's build this You can declare the method uh, above the calling so that it won't give this error or the warning. Let's actually run this. And here we go. So now, uh, I don't know if you can see the uh, the console, but I'll show you in the console that when it hits, it will say that uh, the acorn is actually hit. Here we go. So you can actually see in the console, it says acorn hit the cat and so that that was a collision detection between uh, you know two different objects. Okay, uh, you can if you want to specify a like in this example, where it is here it is. Uh, this should be it. So in this example, I mean just like Angry Birds, uh, you don't have to really hit the cat to kill the cat or to uh, 
uh, you know, to get the points. I mean, you can actually hit the platform over here and this will fall and the cat will fall on the ground. So in the real application, you can have some sort of a CPCC sprite with a static mass on the ground and you can have a collision between the cat and the ground so that when the cat hits the ground, it is also game over and you win. Okay, kind of like that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, and so I hope you like this uh, tutorial. And if you do, and if you think this tutorial has helped you in any case, then I do accept PayPal donations. Uh, you can send it to adamsharp at gmail.com. That will be really helpful. Thank you very much and have a great day.